Public speaking is important in our careers and personal lives. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa and today I'm here to share with you 10 public speaking tips for beginners like you to take your public speaking to the next level. So let's go straight to the public speaking skills. Number one is that you can practice. Practice is key if you want to win this public speaking battle. The more you practice, the more you can speak well, the more you practice, the more you build your confidence, the more you practice, the more you are able to rehearse your lines to speak in front of a large group of people. So practice is key. And there are a lot of ways that you can practice your public speaking. In the description below, I have a free course for you, which is on Skillshare. And I talked exclusively about how to practice your presentations. Among one of them is you can read aloud to practice your presentation. You can also use different techniques by recording yourself on your phone to practice. There are many more that you can check in the description below to get a free course and you will get to know how to practice. Number two is you need to know your audience. If you know your audience, you are going to be a good speaker if you can analyze your audience. Audience analysis is key. If you want to be a good speaker, you need to appreciate that. Know who your audience are, know why you are speaking to them, and know more about your audience. Number three is you need to be confident. Confidence is key. No one goes to speak with the right amount of confidence or the right amount of say that they are not afraid. But confidence makes a difference. If you're able to stand and tell yourself that you can do it, step forward, take the microphone, start your opening words, and be creative. So conf confidence plays a bigger role or a major role when it comes to public speaking. So if you are confident enough, you can start your visual or your speaking journey. Number four is use visual aids. So visual aids like video, you can use video to carry your message across to your audience. You can use images, you can use props. But visual aids are something that you should consider if you want to speak in the long term. Because there are times that you go to speak and your audience have been speak, sitting down for close to three or four hours. Everybody's just giving them lectures, lectures, lectures. You need to change the game, use videos use images, use props to be able to entertain and get your audience straightened and get your message to your audience. So visual aids is something that you can be able to use well to do that. Number five, speak clearly. The more you are able to speak clearly, the more you can get your audience attention. Some people are mumbling. Yes, you may not take the fact away from the uh, I may not take the fact away from you that you will mumble. Don't worry about that. The purpose is communication. So the, you, you may fumble, you may mumble. Just keep speaking, you are going to get better. But speak clearly. Let them understand. Don't go, my name is. You are speaking slow, people may not understand you. So number five is you need to speak clearly. Number six use appropriate body language this is important the way you carry your hands the way you move on stage the way you smile all this makes a difference even the clothes you wear your dress makes a difference or you can make an impression of that in the minds of your audience so when you are working make sure you consciously know what you are doing if you want to raise your hands, don't just go on, uh, my name is because I say, use your hands. No, you need to be conscious about that. If you want to say two, it's two. Imagine I want to say two and I do two. This is four. So you need to be careful. You need to be intentional about your body language. Number seven, it's, it's not for everyone. If you can use humor, just use it. So number seven, use humor. But if you can't, please don't use humor. Sometimes you go and you say something that is jovial and the audience are like this. Hey, 
no you need to use humor in a way that you can control if you can't don't use that just go straight keep speaking and know what you are about number eight is to speak from your heart speak about things you know speak at, about your experiences speak about things that will touch people speak about things that will get your audience attention St speak about things that you know you believe in your ideals and speak to make a change in your community and these are some of the things that can help you in your public speaking yes my name is ibrahim mustafa look down in the description below there's a link to a free course just exclusively for you to be able to learn your public speaking so make sure you enjoy that course and let's meet in the next session but number eight nine is be prepared the ninth tip is to pre be prepared for the unexpected things may happen to distract your presentation microphone may not work projector may not work someone may be making loud calls distraction cars passing by so you need to be prepared to work with that be prepared and to be smart about it to know that this is what i'm going to do when this happens when there's distraction i'm going to do this sometimes you may even lunch break may even take into your presentation or some one of your speakers can even take your time so these are all unexpected things you need to know what to do and how to do to be able to solve that so be prepared for the unexpected and the last and final tip is ask for feedback it's important feedback is important when we are speaking so the moment you step on stage just be ready to be vulnerable don't think that you are getting everything right sometimes ask for feedback listen to your audience and whatever they say you can be able to attest to that and move on with that so please ask for feedback and once you get a feedback you can use that to better yourself as a speaker and to create more opportunities like i said that's a free course for you in the description below if you want to learn more about public speaking if you want to stand uh, firm and present your ideas if you want to practice how do you practice exercises there are different difference between exercises physical exercises that you can do to accelerate your speaking and things that you can do to practice your speaking in my course i talked about that so go on ask me all the questions that you have and i'm willing to help you with that if you also want one-on-one -on -one coaching which i don't do much these days but i'm willing to you send me a message and i will see whether i can be able to take you through practice or not but my name is Ibrahim Mustafa follow me for more let's do more I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams go out and be a good speaker by checking the link description to get the free public speaking course I believe in you I believe in your dream